Hey guys, no surprise here, but anti-gunners have found yet another way to continue their assault on the so-called assault weapons. Hey, it's Phil with the Minute Man Moment, and today we're going to talk about a sneaky anti-gun bill that some people want to pass through the Senate. Congressman Don Beyer introduced a bill in the House, H.R. 8051, that would impose a 1,000% federal tax on a lot of semi-automatic rifles, pistols, and shotguns, and every magazine that holds more than 10 rounds. And at a time when Americans are getting crushed by Biden's economy, a 1,000% tax on the sale of guns would essentially be a backdoor ban on commonly owned firearms and magazines. And make no mistake, this tax is not intended to cut the deficit or support spending in other categories. This is an attack on the American people's wallets and rights. And in this recession economy, an inability to consistently rely on a police response, this bill would either leave families starving or defenseless, a situation nobody wants. This is the kind of ivory tower thinking, telling families living paycheck to paycheck that they aren't wealthy enough to deserve the right to defend themselves. And with this price increase, putting a common rifle like an AR-15 at 10 times its original cost of about $1,000, those most desperately in need of protection, where the police have been defunded, living in crime-infested areas, or have officers afraid to confront murderers, like in Uvalde, would now have to choose between a firearm to defend themselves with or two years' worth of groceries. Anti-gunners have now given themselves two possible paths in the Senate to crack down on magazines and firearms that millions of Americans own. First, the House bill that outright bans so-called assault weapons and large capacity magazines, the way they state them. And two, the new House bill that places a 1,000% tax on those same guns and magazines holding more than 10 rounds to make them too unaffordable for ownership. The fanatical anti-gun Senator Elizabeth Warren is already backing Byers' bill in the Senate. Warren said she wants to use every tool available to make it impossible for the public to acquire these kinds of guns, and that includes taxes. Warren really upped the rhetoric when she said she wants to make it impossible for people to buy weapons that are used for murdering people. Can't every weapon pretty much be used for murdering people? Can't a lot of things that aren't typically considered weapons? But of course, that's the true aim of these anti-gun fanatics like Warren, is ending all the private gun ownership in America. Senator Warren doesn't care that you have a constitutionally protected right to keep and bear arms. Imagine if the government levied a tax on your First Amendment right to protest, speak freely, or practice your religion. That's exactly what these anti-gunners are doing to your Second Amendment right. This legislation would do nothing to stop evil people from committing monstrous acts, but it will destroy the ability of regular Americans to freely exercise their Second Amendment rights, instead putting the American tradition of firearm ownership to only the most elite of society, or should I say elitist. Thanks for watching the Minuteman Moment, and as always, I'm Phil, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for all the latest news from Gun Owners of America.